these guys. And that should make my defense there stronger. Okay. So, so you want to send, and you want to send often. I had one guy I was playing with, didn't send anything the whole game. Didn't tell anybody that he didn't know what he was doing. Uh, a lot of times I'll check with my info window here to see who are new players who are returning players. Currently my whole team have quite a bit of experience. Uh, these guys are both brand new players, at least as far as the stats can show. Uh, but I didn't check that this time. Uh, and you have more information about everybody's income, how min much everybody is leaked, the strength of everybody's forces, everyone's defense. Uh, the guy didn't say he was new. Uh, he went the whole game. At the end, we were losing. And apparently, he must have been setting on a lot of gas. And he said, I still don't know when I should send. Well, if I'm, if that guy's watching the video, I'm telling you now. All, send constantly. Every round, send something. Some people like to save resources to send... Uh, so you can send a bunch of stuff at one time. I don't do that. To me, it just doesn't logically work. It's like, I don't know, short-term gain, long-term loss. Uh, you need this income in order to upgrade your defense. If you're not sending forces and you're not increasing that income, you're not building as strong a force as you could be. So you want to be sending as much as possible. There is some strategy you can use, especially later on, as you get your income up higher. But you don't want to put off building forces to work on income. You don't want to hold off income because then you it it doesn't allow you to build forces. You got to do them both together. You got to find that balance. Okay, we just defeated the first boss. Every once in a while, you'll get a large single unit, a very strong unit that comes out solo. And those are bosses. There are three such bosses in the game. The first one is not too difficult. The only reason why you wouldn't beat them is if you were kind of slacking at the beginning, leaking a bunch of units. The other two are a little more problematic. And they could actually destroy the system. Oh, by the way, the system's here. That's Odin you're protecting. They could destroy the system easily. So, you want to keep that in mind. Let me see. Let me make sure I got... Additional supply detail. Ah, I hit that. Supply limit. Upgrade complete. Uh, now I passed the window. But these forces are strong enough. I think I got it. Okay, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, anyway, I think what I was getting at is... Have strong enough forces to keep units from leaking through. Get your econ up, because that helps you build the stronger forces. I'm going to stop here. We're at round 13. i am built. got one more unit coming up here for plus 1, which will make this plus 8. And I'm going to leave that there until after unit 16. Or unit 14, I mean. Uh, mainly because unit 14 is pretty strong and I want to make sure my forces are strong enough to, to take it on when it gets here. So I'm going to focus all my uh, resources into building these guys up. Now another note on when to send. After these units come out, that's not the end of the round. The end of the round comes when all of these units are defeated. So if you can send something before that, before that blackout, then that gets added to this, which gets added to the minerals you have for the next round. I think I waited a little late in that last one. So you don't really have to send stuff before this wave comes out, but if you want your send to be included in that wave, you have to send it before the wave goes out. Okay, we're at 14. This is kind of a milestone. This is a f this is another wave that's stronger than the waves before and after it. If you can stop this wave, then the wave after it shouldn't be a problem. 
if you let this wave through, and if your teammates let this wave through, then you might as well just say GG because the game's going to be over. It, a lot of players use wave 14 as an opportunity to slow down the economy of the other team to weaken them a bit. Okay, since we're past that, oh, okay, good. So I'm going to put a, be able to send another tank before those guys get in. This is the other side. We can only see them currently when they leak. And so it's an opportunity to see what units they have, what builders are using. Okay, my attention back over here. Okay, let me see what builder I got. Okay, let me... Additional supply <laughs> it's because I'm talking while trying to play this game. Upgrade. Complete. Okay, as you can see, I like to have some symmetry in my setup. I do it mainly because it helps me to, to see visually if I'm missing certain unit types, if I'm weak in a certain area. I don't want to have one side weaker than the other side because then they could easily come around and get at your ranged units. Eventually, I'll have the whole front row filled with melee units so that the enemy can't go around them. It has to go through the melee units to, in order to get at the ranged units. Okay, Num wait, this is wave 16 coming up. Oh man, my teammates leaked a lot. Okay, I may have to upgrade the system. Yeah, I think I will. System upgrades work like this. You can hit four to get to, the, to that window. And you can choose all of these different upgrade types. You should take your own time to look through this uh, and become familiar with it. However, don't rely on it. At this point, because our unit had to destroy our our system, our Odin had to destroy those units. The income from those units went to the other team. So you want to keep anything from getting here at if at all possible. Which means this has to be as strong as possible. Which means this has to be as strong as possible. So don't do like I see a lot of people do. And that's right away go and start upgrading that system. Because at the end of the day, you may find... Did I get that guy out there? I don't think I did. At the end of the day, it may be for naught. Because a lot of times, you can't... For the later levels, that Odin cannot be upgraded strong enough to repel the units that will come at you. Come on, guys, you guys can take him. Okay, you won't, we won't be able to take him. This is a Scent unit, and he's pretty strong. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the, at the, for the last few rounds, you won't be able to get this upgraded strong enough to take out those units. And the, at the final round round 30 uh, round 31 I believe this it's not the destruction of this that ends the game it's the destruction of all your defensive units once the last team member loses their defensive unit the game's over so once you get past a certain point this becomes useless uh, upgrading this becomes useless so you want to keep that in mind Okay, I need to get a strong unit out here, and this is a pretty strong unit. Let's see, get some sent units out there. I'm talking when I'm talking, I tend to not do much in the game, and so I have to be careful. But I think I got enough out here to stop this round. Let me make sure I get Upgrade. those upgraded. Okay, actually, I, I am doing pretty well at this point. <coughs> Which leads me to another point. Uh, I did leak early. But as you can see, I'm doing okay now. A, a lot of people come into the game, leak at a few early rounds, and then will rage quit. Don't do that. Especially if you're a new player, you want to use take that opportunity to learn the game. 
if you quit after your first leak, you'll never be able to learn from that leak and do better f the next round. Okay. Got this guy over here, and I wanted one over here. There we go. Spectres. Spectres are the first tier unit in the Ghost Builder, and I love them. I try not to go a game without them if I can. Even up to the last levels, they still do quite a bit of damage. And for every boss, <coughs> they make destroying the boss so much easier. Because they do effect damage, area of effect damage. Which a lot of these units do. You see the swirling lines around some of my units. And I'll, show, I'll point that out the next round. Uh, I do have units that stun up enemy units when they hit them. Uh, I have units that will slow down enemy units, units that will make the allied units around them stronger. And so you want to you want to choose your your units here based on their attributes, which means going here and just reading what what it says using the unit. Once you put the unit down, you get a more detailed description about what the unit does. So play around with that. Upgrade both of these guys. Upgrade complete. There you go. And then, can I get a tank out there? Will it let me do it? Yes, it will. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty good. So I am kind of getting behind on the eco because I'm not keeping up with this. Excuse me. Okay, I leaked a few, just a few. A couple of regular units and a scent unit. The Thor is the strongest scent unit you can send. It also gives you the highest income. Okay, um, more about the building. Yep, actually, before I get into that, let me do some upgrades there. Make sure I get something sent there, and then. Insufficient Vespine gas. Okay, and then upgrade that. Okay, somebody left. There is a bonus uh, based on the number of members you have in your team, so don't worry if your teams aren't even going in. I've actually won a game of 1v4 where it was me versus four versus four guys on the other team and I won. So don't be worried about that. Okay, yep, took him out pretty quickly there. And that was another boss uh, at wave 20. And that boss is pretty strong so you want to make sure you're ready for it. Okay, uh, about the builders. Each builder has six tiers. Of course, the sixth tier is the strongest, the highest. It's also the most expensive. By the end of the game, you want to have as many of those guys as you can get. Let me upgrade what I can. The next round is kind of strong, too, so I'm going to put my money into preparing for it. Okay. Okay, as I was saying, uh, there are six tiers for each builder. The first one's the weakest, the six tiers the strongest. But with upgrades, even a tier one, as these Mercules started as tier one specters, can be pretty strong units. It's a matter of trial and error to figure out which ones they are. I, if, uh, I could spend forever trying to tell you the ins and outs of each individual unit within the game. I'm not going to do that. Instead, just give them a try out. Uh, see which ones work for you. Uh, I'm going to go on ahead and spend all of this getting this upgrade. It's kind of risky not doing this, news. but I'm behind on my econ and I want to get caught up. Okay. 
yeah, try them out. See what you can do. Uh, it's usually better to go up a tier rather than build more of lower tier units. And always upgrading units is better than building a lot of unupgraded units. Okay, we held them off pretty well. And we're causing them to leak quite a bit, which makes me feel good. Let's see, is there anything else I need to tell you about these? Oh, I should tell you, tiers, there are two, or there are two tier, there are two windows of worth of sins. If you press 2, that brings up this window. Press 3, that brings up this window. Uh, of course, these are stronger than these. These bring more income than these. These need more gas to send them than these do. I'm going to send me a Thor. Okay, I got to put me something out here, like one of these guys. Get me another one. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. Now, I've done better before, but hey, I'm making a video and playing Squadron TV at the same time. Now, as far as the sins, which sins are good? This is a fairly new send that people are liking to send this brood lord uh, they're they're good because they shoot out units that other units that the, that the opposing team tries to target especially if they make it to the system it really s slows down the effectiveness of the system Oop, actually this might be game this looks like it's going to be game uh, or maybe not okay what they're doing now is they're they're spending their resources on upgrading the system making it stronger making it faster it's not gonna work we won the game so that in a nuts nutshell is squadron TD I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned a lot from it uh, if you want to see more uh, leave something in descriptions we've only gotten to wave 24 like I said there's 31 waves so you didn't see how the last wave works but pretty much this is the this is how the game works so give it a try like I said you're gonna lose a lot beginning ask people for help if you happen to be on when I'm on General Jaden Max then I will definitely give you a give you a, a hand I I have a policy of, of treating other people the way I would like to be treated I'm not going to get angry if you screw things up after all this is just a game anyway that's enough for this video leave please like it if you thought it was good uh, if you think it could be better please let me know in the comments be kind please and always good luck have fun and I hope to see you in the game bye